Hi, I'm Mark Mason, work for Rail Letterman Lanigan, sub-assembly and travelling gearbox technician. Welcome to Tech Tuesday. Right, today I'm going to demonstrate how we assemble a rear upright. For the first component, it's the hub. This has been crack checked. Check the mileage on this. We run, we run our components to a certain mileage. So this is well within mileage. This is the first component. And we need a seal. This is one of the, the seals for the bearing. Each one of these uprights has a preload space in it. <coughs> we have to uh, meticulously grind these preload spaces to a specific size, which is the inside of this upright. We then, we then reduce this to preload the two bearings. This slides on the hub. We now, the grease we put in is a very special grease. It's very light and there's a specific amount of grease that we put on these bearings. Smooth that out. We now take the bearing. This is the outside bearing. make sure that the grease is seated inside the balls. Again, we're not using a lot of grease here, and this is very light, this grease. We assemble that on the outer race of the hob. Ready now to fit the upright housing. We'll put a small amount of grease on these races as well. These are the two inner races. As I say, there's a specific amount of grease that we put in here. That's why I use that syringe. That's the outer race. I do the inner race at the same time because I won't be able to get to this race once she's assembled. Smooth it out. There we go. This is ready now to be just dropped over that outside set race. There we go. These are the two inside. This is the inner race and the bearing. Do the same again. Use the same amount of grease that we put on the outside bearing. Just push that down into the balls. Now we just put a, don't waste any of this grease. I'll put us. This is exactly the same amount of grease as we put in the outside bearing. Smooth it out. Now we'll assemble these two together. They're assembled together. This will be slid into the upright as a, as a unit. Right. Assembly tool, slides inside there, and then drop this inner bearing in. It sits inside that upright, and now just carefully just tap that down.
there she's seated now that little click means she's seated That's seated in the upright taken out a seal this has to be assembled now because the lock nut fits over the top of this Carefully install this. Make sure she's clicked. There she goes, she's in. And just make sure she's seated in that outer groove, which she is. Nice. That's all assembled now. Now I take the lock nut, put a bit of uh, anti-seize on here. There's a very, very fine thread in here. These are right and left handed threaded. So that's, that's assembled now. Now I take this to our other assembly tool and I'll torque this up. Let me slide this in here. I'll take a wheel nut. hold it in in this stand right here's the socket just put these cap heads in just to hold the socket onto the nut while I torque it up Stops it falling off. Now we take our torque wrench. We put a lot of torque on this, so we need an extension on this torque wrench. So this is now squashing these bearings down into that preload spacer. We're talking to 600 pounds. Now that's not necessarily torqued, so I have to just seat these balls in these bearings and I'll just just check that torque a couple of times because you'll find that she moves. The torque figure is really, really important because the load on that preload spacer, which was carefully calculated and ground to size, if I over torque it, it tightens up the bearings. So we just torque it until that doesn't move, which I think we're there now. There she is. We'll take this off. There's one last procedure I have to do now before I can uh, Check this is finished. Take this off this stand. And that is this outside seal. I have to do as I did on the inside there. Make sure that's seated as well. So we go over here. There's all the balls in there all running nice and 
grease is running around each ball nicely. Not too much grease. Now, do exactly the same as I did on the inside. Just make sure that that seal is firmly held in that groove. There's a little click. Again, just check it with the edge of this screwdriver. Don't want to damage this seal. And there she is. There's an IndyCar rear upright. Ready to go.